Hello. I am looking for an invisible movie. Movie. Once upon a time, in the future of the past, that movie, which is this movie, at that time was the first movie on the internet. Then and now, it was or is or was, or was a science fiction movie made by science fiction means. It was also invisible. It is invisible. I am searching for it. For I am searching for it, an invisible movie. And through my investigations, we have now arrived at a moment in which this or that movie has taken the form of many movies. These are those movies. This is one of those movies. This is a movie Each movie in the movie is a movie All the movies in the movie are a movie And they are invisible Whatever Right now Right now You will see Or not the first ten minutes that continue from here where we are and if you do I would like to ask you what do you see Thank you for joining us today here at the beginning, 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 big beginning of <clears throat> volume M in which we will be movie talking all the things that need to be movie spoken and told through time in empty lots of words syllabic as all thought broken slurred together and a lot of words. That's right. I'm stuck to the middle of the screen here for the next thousand years. You don't have anything else to do, so... Let's not do it. And now we begin. We'll be using our several of our standard objects. For instance, as you remember from previous episodes, the transparency of truth, don't drop it. <coughs> In addition, we have the transparency of darkness, which is a well-known thought, hmm. Which will provide us with all the notions of knowledge that we need to proceed. And where are we going to be proceeding? Well, you might think that we're going here. And that's where we are. Around and around and around we go. We're using the method of the spiral image dissector as originally told to us, through us, to us, through us, here, on Christmas Day, 1884, I guess that is, 
or Christmas Day 1926, when old Emperor Taisho went wherever he was going. But no, that's not where we're going, because here we are. And I swear this is true. We are passing onwards to Volume N, Index G1. All of Index G is known as Manchuria G. And so in order to understand the spoken words of the thousand hours, of the thousand years, of the thousand days, well, I think the best way is just to begin at fast time. Fast time is slow time. Wherever your eyes go, there they go, and there they are. So here we are at the beginning of the Manchuria, here in <coughs> the theater of Our Lady of the Telepathic Vengeance, a small bubble theater attached to a submarine, somehow or other, attached to the surface of a submarine, somehow or other, a uh, submarine known as the Lost Tribes, ascending out of the reading room of the New York Public Library, and so we begin. In order to begin, we touch the screen and proceed through thought. We are at Gunskirchen, a wondrous land told through time and empty light. Well, not actually really a very, very nice place at all, I would have to say that. Gunskirchen was a subcamp of Mauthausen, and at the end of the war there were forced marches to that place from the variety of other places at Mauthausen, which was a Holocaust work camp with a lot of steps on it, which were meant to wear you down by walking up and down carrying pieces of stone carefully precision cut from the place where the stairs used to be so that you could walk up and down the stairs carrying the stones until you were no longer there, because that's what stairs are for in those places. In this case, uh, those people then, uh, when the Japanese Americans arrived to liberate the camps of Europe, uh, they discovered that first when they went to Mauthausen and that there was nobody there. So they sent a subunit, which was the uh, an audiovisual unit from the uh, Manchu Edison uh, Audiovisual Service, which had been transplanted from the Square of Times uh, to someplace in Queens, New York, which was uh, a place over the bridge where the studios rolled on giant rubber tires. You can find out more about this at other times if you read all the other volumes. We're just trying to use the standard objects of video to understand our entrance and walk into the woods. For you see, those people who had walked up and down the stairs were force marched all the way there to this place, and there among these trees which weren't there at the time. They were uh, then, well, um, they were then there, uh, placed there, uh, in between the trees, in between fences, and then they spent their time there till they fell down. Now amongst these people was one particular person waiting amongst all the many other particular people waiting, waiting, waiting for the Japanese Americans to arrive there at the uh, informal death camp there. You can see all the places where uh, that might have happened. They're on the ground. There's paths to get there. And there's stones. Might be the last thing you ever see. And there you go onwards and there is a memorial sign that tells you about that. And then onwards into the paths of night. Now it was along these paths that the tractors of the audiovisual unit came bearing projectors as gifts for the people of this land. And there amongst them was the one who waited, who uh, then went off in the ways that they do through the woods, marching, passing through all the places down the roads, past the memorials, passing down through the future town, the town of Wells, which is not far from the hometown capital of uh, um, is it Dr. Wittgenstein, or is it uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hitler, who lived up there in Upper Austria and built their museum complexes not far from Wells? 
Uh, though, in fact, this is not actually wells that we're looking at. We're looking here at Gunskirchen, the Church of Gun, and you can travel back and forth from there to wells, which is where the hospital is, where they were forced marched to live, and then they left from there to go onwards. Those who lived, who were many, were few, and include the particular one who is waiting. As you can see, my eyes are shifting in many directions looking for this person right now. But you won't find that person unless you look directly into the image dissector and look into the future. So let's do that for a moment and see what's going to happen next. We're heading off towards Manchuria in these informal ways. I'd like to remind you uh, that uh, not as usual, we have changed course. We will not be using the Tablet of Truth for Volume M. But we will continue to use the coffee of transparency and, of course, stare upwards into the sky. For you see, up in the sky, there is the light of the image that shows us where we are and orients us. As you can see, probably behind me, I'll just show you in some direction or other, there is a magic lantern whose light is propulsed through from the, by my finger, through the forces of time, outwards to the wall in front of me. So therefore, you will not be seeing what is, of course, the standard object, the uh, replacement for the Tablet of Truth, which is an image on the wall which shows me through the parallel possibilities of the Magic Lantern all that is happening as I talk, which is often just me talking. But in the meantime, it's more important to know where we're going to be going next. So as I said, let's just stare into the light of time for just a moment, Look into the center of the dot and just imagine that you are Emperor Taisho about to enter off through the screen of the time of the upside down, uh, uh, well, uh, mysterious Euler motion picture printer or the megascope or whatever means that we are using to either record or transmit ourselves now here through this time to other times up there on the wall up there. You can see we are surrounded also by a variety of other parts of the standard object of this time here, which will shift. It's something that uh, we have used uh, the electricity of space to provide us with both the... I'm looking for an invisible movie. Once upon a time, in the future of the past, that movie, which is this movie, at that time was the first movie on the internet. Then and now, it was or is, or was, or was a science fiction movie made by science fiction means it was also invisible it is invisible i am searching for it for i am searching for it for i am searching for an invisible movie and through my investigation we have now arrived at a moment In which this or that movie Has taken the form of many movies These are those movies This is one of those movies This is a movie Each movie in the movie is a movie All the movies in the movie we are a movie All the movies in the movie Are a movie And they are invisible Whatever Right now you will see or not The first ten minutes that continue from here Where we are And if you do I would like to ask you What do you see? 
What do you see? What do you see? What do you see?